How you guys doing? Jason McCourty here, cornerback for Tennessee Titans, number 30 with my twin brother here. Devin McCourty from the New England Patriots, cornerback, all pro corner, number 32. We're at uh, Rutgers University, uh, where we went to school. Scarlet Knights. Yeah, me for four years, him for four and a half. It takes some longer, but either way, we're just uh, enjoying our off season. Been back here working out, grinding, getting in with the guys, and uh, just having a good time doing it. It's been a fun time. Uh, we're just thankful Rutgers lets us come back. And the biggest thing is we get to come get after it. Sometimes we'll actually work out with the team, condition with them. We get to work out at a high level here, and they also get to see guys that are doing what they want to do, work out at a high level also. That's the only way I've known. I kind of uh, continue to progress my work ethic while I was here at Rutgers, just learning what it took to be great and continue to uh, go hard at it every day. So uh, every offseason, I'm always uh, down to come back. I'm excited about it because I know when I come here, uh, nobody's going to push me harder than Deb. Uh, nobody's going to push me harder than the guys that I played here with my four years. So coming back here, you can't get uh, a better environment than that. You can't pick the whole stuff. <laughs> but I'm saying you can't run a 15-yard bomb. It's the top of the route. Uh, as you guys see throughout our workouts, you'll see us arguing more than uh, coaches arguing with each other. So uh, we've been together our entire lives. So when we get together, we don't hold anything back. So The craziest part is even though we're trying to help each other learn it, we'll still bump heads, argue, go back and forth, say, what we do is better, he'll think what they do is better. So it's always a never ending process when we're trying to get better and learn from each other. With the way we train, uh, we motivate one another just by the way we push each other. And uh, Deb in his rookie season was able to come in and have an extraordinary year uh, to be named an all pro cornerback, make it to the Pro Bowl, and uh, the impact that he had. Uh, for me to sit back and watch that, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of from the day he was drafted in the first round and to watch the way he went out there and excelled. The best part I think about us. Uh, with him coming out first was I got to learn. I got to learn some things from the NFL. I got to watch him on the field, talk to him. Um, once he got there, he was around a great bunch of guys. It gave me an advantage because now I'm using all the college techniques I've learned, but now a little advanced level because in the NFL, they spend so much time on just football, no classes or anything. So now I was incorporating a little of that in my game, so I think I had an advantage my senior year. Most importantly, uh, you can ask some of our college teammates, uh, those hot summer workouts in the month of June and July, we used to be out there almost fighting, kind of just pushing each other to continue to get better. If he thinks I'm slacking on something, he has no problem walking up to me and getting ready in my face and telling me, and uh, me doing the same to him. So when you have somebody that close to you that you know has your best interest in hand, uh, you have no problem with them telling you like it is. Just off-season training is exactly what it is. You're, you're, getting, you're preparing for a new season. You're, you're trying to get better. Uh, I feel like if I'm satisfied with how I attacked it, how hard I went, then I know I got better. If I know I went hard, I'm okay with that. You can't always do everything you want to do, but I just feel like if you go in there and give it your all, then you can live with that. Yeah.